What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got pack 11 of Agora Models build the G1 Optimus Prime. Can't wait to get into this, guys. We are almost at the end. There's only one more pack left after this. This has really gone by fast, so... Yeah, I can't believe it. I can't believe we're almost done with this already. These Agora model 12-month builds just seem so much faster than those uh, two-year builds from Fan Home. Uh, I like the Fan Home models, but man, those things just seem to take forever. But anyways, if you guys are interested in building uh, any of the Agora models, I will leave a link in the description down below. And here, right here, is the website. So you can go on over there and uh, check those out if you like. But without any further rambling on, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. Okay, do what we got inside. All right, we got some big trays again in this uh, this pack here. Go ahead and get those trays out. There we go. All right, looks like everything. Let's go ahead and get rid of this box. All right, guys, here's all three trays laid out here. We have got a lot to do uh, in this build as we usually do on these Agora models. And uh, yeah, here's all of our screws and things over in this pack. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our build instructions here for pack 11. Uh, here we go. Here's our uh, pack 11 tray one screws. That's all the screws and things. Um, a lot of screwing to do on this one again. I'm glad I have that Fantic E1 Max screwdriver to help me out on that. Link to that will be in the description down below. Here's tray one. We got the tires and wheels, and uh, looks like we're going to be putting together the remote control on this. That's pretty cool. And uh, tray two, looks, looks like all the uh, abdomen parts here and the spine. I think this is the spine over here. See, that's the grill on this front there. Uh, tray three, looks like we have the uh, matrix of leadership parts here and his uh, ion blaster. Which, uh, okay. All right, on the bottom here, it says, well, we'll be putting the Ion Blaster and the Matrix of Leadership together in the next step, so we'll hold on to those. Uh, but these pieces, a couple of these pieces, look like we're going to be using them in this build. And, uh, yeah, so uh, here we go with the beginning here. We're going to be uh, starting off with the fuel tanks on top of the legs, it looks like. Yeah, we're going to be putting those fuel tanks on top of the legs. I'm probably going to skip looking at this. Uh, stages at steps one and two and go right to step three because uh, this shows that we're going to be gluing these pieces together and then putting them on those. So I'll go ahead and get those glued together first and then put these on so they can sit there for uh, for just a minute before we put them on. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to be gluing these on to here, and there's a little arrow at the bottom. You can see right there on each piece, and then there's a little kind of arrow on here, and those arrows kind of match each other, so it's going to go this way around, right over top of that arrow, uh, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and glue those down. This is just add a little glue to the edges of this. That's what we're going to do. Let's try putting it on the inside here a little kind of smear on each side Let's see how that works I'm in the right way I'm just like that go ahead and do the rest of them here okay and there's both of those with all the pieces glued on we're going to set those to the side and continue on Okay, guys, we got two of the TR-11-01 pieces here and four of the PB 2.6 by 8 screws. And these are going to attach to the top of the leg, so let me go grab those. All right, they're going to be attaching on either side here and here. So I'm going to be 
standing up during most of this build. Okay, you got uh, two holes here on the bottom of this, uh, and they're gonna go over these two pins right here. Get them lined up there like that. Go ahead and screw that in with those screw, screw in there. One, the other one in. Over to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing on this side right here. Okay, got those on. On the next step, we got the uh, PR 11-02s here. They're gonna be going on top of those. And as you can see, we have uh, two pegs sticking up here. They go this way around. You wanna line these holes that are in there, the, the little holes on the bottom up with the pegs, just like that. And once again, we're gonna be using the PB 2.6 by eight screws on those. All right, let's go ahead and get that one screwed down. Go over to the other side. Oh, it's so nice with the screwdriver. The other side, again, we're gonna line up those bottom holes with the uh, holes right there, like that. All right, got those on. We're gonna get four more of those PB 2.6 by 8 screws and we're gonna attach those pieces that we just glued together now. And once again, we're gonna line the holes up on the inside here. Sit right on top, just like that. Go ahead and screw that one down and then we'll move to the other side. Go ahead and move this over so we can get to the other side. Once again, lining those holes up, just like that. Get those screws in. Now we have these silver bars here. There's gonna be eight of them. Four is gonna go on each tank. And they're just gonna slot right into the holes that are on there, just like that. Four on that side, but four on the other side. Okay, now we have uh, TR-1105, that's these two. And TR-11, I'm sorry, TR-1106 is these two, and TR-1105 is these two. Then we're gonna slot those on top of here. Uh, this one's gonna go this way around, then go right over all these pieces, like that. And then this one uh, is gonna go on top of those uh, and just fit all the little bars in so that it sits all the way down on. And then we got a hole right in the top there where we're gonna be putting a PB 2.6 by eight screw. We're gonna get two of those out, one for each side. Yeah, and we're gonna secure that down with the PB 2.6 by eight screw, Put that in there. There we go. And then we have these little pieces here that we're gonna put on top to cap those off and cover up. It says to put a little glue on them. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm supposed to just put a little glue on this little rim here. That lined up with the holes and push it in. Just like that. Go. Now we're gonna turn the other side and do the other side. Now we can see this side here. And again, this one's gonna go in first. Then we're gonna put this one on. All right, that's all the way in. I'm gonna put a little glue. This time I'm gonna put the glue in here. A little bit in each hole, like that. Put it in there. Push it down in nice and tight. Go. Yeah, it's gonna look like that on both sides. We got the fuel tank on there. All right, guys, we're gonna be putting the rotors on the brakes here when we assemble the wheels. So we got uh, part TR1116 and TR1118, and uh, we're gonna be gluing these on. There's a little slot right here, or a little slot on this that meets with this uh, kind of pin there, and they'll slot in just like that. But we're gonna put some glue inside this brake caliper and uh, glue that on. I'm actually gonna put the glue on the uh, rotor here. Just like that. And then just push this onto it. All right, set that to the side, do the other one. Okay. And those are the ones marked with a one. See right there. Uh, these are going to be going on the left side. The other side is marked with a two. And I have those right here. I'm going to go ahead and do those real quick. So I'll be right back.
Okay, now we're gonna come to the part where we're gonna put the tires on the wheels. I'm gonna warm these up with my heat gun. I'm just gonna put that on low and just warm the rubber up a little bit. Now we're just trying to soften the rubber here. We're not trying to melt it, people. Just making it more pliable, that's all. See if we can get that on there. There we go, pops right on. Just like that, just make sure you have the Autobot tire lettering. You can see right there. Make sure you have that facing this nice side of the rim there. That's the back side. Go ahead and get this other one. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, of course you can use hot water. I just don't like the mess of the hot water, so I don't use it. Plus I have a heat gun, so no need. Again, just put your heat gun on low, guys. You're not trying to melt the rubber here. You're just softening it. Just pops right in. No issues whatsoever. There you go. I'm gonna do all four of them. All right, guys, and that's all four of them there, all done. Go ahead and see what our next step is. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the legs back up now. All right, I'm trying to get the best camera angle here for you guys. See if this is gonna work. Okay, we have uh, this piece here. This is TR1114, and it's for the left leg, and it's marked, again, with the one. Everything for the left leg here is marked with a one, and everything for the right will be marked with a two. Uh, this angle here is going to go towards the front of the leg, and this is just going to slot over this just like that. And now we have our two left brakes. Uh, the left brakes are marked with a one, and for some reason you can't see that. The left brake has one notch on the brake there, and the right brakes have two notches. There you go. So this is going to go with the caliper facing forward, with the uh, this side facing out, and the flat side facing in. And that's going to slide just over the top of that, and lock in just like that. Both on there. All right, and then the tires. Okay, putting these tires on, we have these TR1192s. They're these... Uh, Tiny little rubber gaskets here. There's gonna be one under each tire. See those right there? Okay, and that, that little gas is gonna go over the end of the black plastic here on, on the brake rotor here, just like that. Put one on each one. And then one of the tires is gonna go on top of that. There and there, just like that. Okay, now we got TR1188, which are these, uh, these wide side washers here. And we're going to attach that on with a PWB 2.6 by 8 screw. All right, we got one on. Let's go ahead and get the other one in there. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Okay, now we're going to cap all those off with TR1121s, which is this uh, silver piece right here. And they're just going to push right into the center of those. And I'm going to put a little glue on that. Uh, I'm just going to put a little glue right here on the bottom. A little bit, doesn't need a lot. Again, we're not trying to hold together a bridge here or the Eiffel Tower or whatever. Put that in there and push it all the way in. There you go. Hold that for a second. Let it get a hold. All right, let's get another one. Yeah, it's going to look like that, and we're going to do all four of them. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, looks like we're going to be working on the spine. Here we got TR-1125, this piece here, and TR-1127, and they're going to fit together just like this. And then we got TR-1126, and that's going to go over the outside like that. Okay, then we have these uh, metal pins here. These are TR-1177. And we're going to have to put one of these metal pins through here. I'm going to go through all of this and hold this all together. Get our little hammer out and see if we can tap that tap that through. That's starting to go through. Then we can hold it on the edge of the table there. There you go. Be right back. Let's see if I can use my watchmaker kit. I don't know if I can use it for this or not. All right. Hey, it's going to look like that. You gotta really hammer that thing through there. And we gotta make uh, six of these, so I'll be right back.
All right, there's all six of them. That took a little doing to get those pins through all those, but I got them in. Definitely helps, guys, if you have a jeweler's hammer. Uh, a kit like this uh, helps out. I like uh, to collect watches, so I I have all kinds of these kits. So. The hammer, a pair of pliers also helps if you can get on there and just kind of push the pin through. Uh, definitely helps as well. Go ahead and keep moving on. All right, now we're going to be connecting all these together, so we're going to be... Doing some more hammering. Okay, these are gonna go together just like this. Uh, this one is gonna go inside of this one and we'll continue down the chain just like that. You guys, if you have one of these, uh, it helps a lot. You can find a spot to lock this into just like this. And now the pieces aren't gonna come out. And then I can get them lined up, hit them with a hammer to get it started in. I can drive that all the way through. Just like that. All right, and that's how it's going to look. But this helps a lot to lock that in and get that pin driven through it. And this is just a jeweler's hammer uh, kit. Um, I'll leave a link to it uh, in the description down below. Okay, now we got TRL28, which is this one, and TRL26. You gotta hunt around for these guys. It says in the pack, they're buried. Some of these are buried under other parts. They're not with the other ones, so you gotta hunt around for those. I'm gonna go just like this. I'm gonna put that pin through there. Hopefully it's not, uh, it goes through okay. It's not too bad. All right, definitely gonna need to put this in the jig here and see if we can knock that through. Anyway, look just like that. Okay, now we got TRL25 and TRL23, and that's gonna go this way on there. Okay, guys, for, and for this one, we need TRL78. It's a shorter pin, as you can see here, is the longer one, and that's the shorter one, and this is located in tray two. It's uh, just taped into the top there. You'll have to look for it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put these together. It goes just like this. Get that pin in there. We'll go ahead and see if I can get it started tapping it and then uh, push it through the rest of the way. There we go. All right, see if we can push it the rest of the way through. There you are. Look like that. All right, guys, now we're gonna connect these to our link here. The rest of the fine and this one's going to go through here i'm going to use our our little jig here again that going in just like that got that one on like that i'm going to put the other one on the other end do it with our little jig here pop it out of there all right it's gonna look just like that guys all right, now we're going to connect the uh, TRL24s onto this, and we're going to use PB 2.3 by 6 screws. I just got a whole bunch of them out of here. So that is these right here, and I'm going to start it on this end. I'm going to start right here on the bottom with these, just like that, and we're going to put it right over those two pins, and we're going to secure that down with those screws. And we're going to get the next one, and we're going to go right on to the, the next one on here, same way, just like that. And screw that one on. All right, we're going to continue with that all the way down. All right, guys, and there's the spine. All done there. All right, guys, we're going to get Optimus's legs back over here again. We got some more work to do here. We got TRL29, this, this piece. That's going to be going on this way around. With these two pegs here are facing towards the front. Make sure you do it that way. Don't go towards the back. Facing towards the front. And we're going to screw that in with two M3 by 8 screws, okay, and one of the lock washers, and that's going to go in right here. It looks like a H2.5 bit. Take our Phillips head out, put that one in, it's the H2.5 bit. We're gonna go right through the front and we're gonna screw that in. That's nice and snug, all right? And we're gonna do the same 
screw and our washer together here. Whatever. And all right, I'm going to check that just to make sure it's really tight with a wrench here. All right, that's not coming off of there. Switch back to our filled screwdriver bit. All right, now we're going to get these pieces out, and it's going to go this way. This one is a TRL31, TRL30, and TRL32. And the one marked with a 1 is going to go on this side. Uh, just like this. And the one marked with a 2 is going to go on this side. Get it on there. There we go, just like that. And we're going to secure these down with uh, four PB 26 by 8 screws. Seems to be our favorite screw so far today. All right, we're going to get one right here in the front. And one right here in the back. All right, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. We're going to get our spine here. That's going to go this way. And it's going to attach to this on these two holes here over those. Just like that, and we're going to screw that down with two of the PB 2.3 by 6 screws. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's get the legs back over. We're going to be putting this on too. It's going to go on just like this. I'm going to screw those down with four of the M3 by 8 millimeter screws with lock washers on. Here, here, and here. Helps if you have it in gear. Use this wrench just to make sure they're very tight. Okay, there we go. Now we got two TRL75s. That's the go with the bolt side going in. Yeah. All right, now we got TRL37, L33, and L34. Gonna go together like this. This one gonna go this direction over the top of that, like this. So it kind of slides, and then this metal one is going to go over the top of that like this. And then we're going to secure that in with five PB 2.6 by 8 screws. All right, it's going to look like that. Yeah, I'm going to lay this down here so I can get to it. This part that we just finished is going to go with the plastic side facing out. That's going to sit right into these two brackets. There's two brackets here and here. That's where that's going to rest at. Set it there for now. All right, and we have TR1136 and TR1135 and TR1136. All right, and we're going to need four more of those PB 2.6 by 8 screws. These are going to hold this on. Uh, there's a little groove here that's going to complete the bracket that holds this piece on. It's going to go on like this. Sit over these posts just like that, and we're going to screw that in with two of those here and here. And I'm going to go ahead and get one side started here. I'm going to get that going there, and we're going to go ahead and put this in the other side on. It would be easier if it was standing up, but too tall. Nice and secure, just like that. Now we got four PM three by eight screws. We're going to continue screwing this in even more. These are going into metal, so I'm going to use some oil on them. Okay, got that done. Okay, now we got um, TRL 38 is going to be this one, TRL 38. And we're going to take a uh, TRL75, and that's going to go inside of it, uh, just this way. That flat end facing an upward angle. Okay, and that's going to go over the top of the other one that we put in right here, just like this. It's going to slot right in, just like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, get that one in. It's going to slot over this side, like that. Okay. You know, we got TRL 43 and 42. That's these two pieces. And we're going to take TR, uh, L, uh, TR 11 43. It's going to go over this circle here, go into this part right here. This part 
here is going to slot over that other that other joint that we put in just like that and we're going to do the same thing on the other side just like that Let's see if i can lift this up this wiring is going to run through here so we're going to run these wires we're going to go underneath here come out this side like Okay, we can come out underneath. Okay, now we have uh, PRL78, that's this plate, and go on top of that, put those together using four M38 screws. All right, we got all four of them nice and tight there. Okay, now we got uh, TRL51, that's this piece right here. That's going to go over the front of this. And it's going to go right in just like that. And we got six, two, three, four, five, six of the M38 screws and these uh, star lock washers. And there's one. We're going to go ahead and get the other five in. All right, we got those all secured down nice and tight. All right, now I've got uh, TRL40 and TRL44, and that's going to go just inside like this. And we're going to secure that with five PWM 2x6 screws. Yeah, it's going to look just like that. All right, now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, and there's the other side. Okay, and this is side two, and this is going to go on his right side, and you can see it's marked right here with a two right there. It is. That's going to go on the right side right here. Looks like that. And then this is side one, and side one's going to go on his left side. Sit in. Kind of pressure fit in just like that and then we got two pwb 2.6 by 6 screws probably be hard to see way down in there way down in there hard to see but uh that's where we're going to put those screws to secure these in make sure your screwdriver is well magnetized and it's nice and snug other side here Got them both in down in there. We got TR1153 and TR1152. Gonna go over that pen like that. I'm gonna screw those in. And now we have this piece here. This is TR1154. And it's going to go this way, with this going towards the spine. So right on top here, like that, and we're going to screw that in with pin with the PM 3 by 8 screws. All right, now we got this uh, fan shroud and these uh, four fans, and we're going to put putting the fans in to the shroud here. Uh, we're going to be using a little bit of glue. They're going to go in just like that, and we're going to glue those in. All right, I'm just going to put the oil, uh, the glue right onto the, this part here. A little on the inside and a little on the outside of each one. A little bit. Don't take a whole lot. And take each fan and just drop it down in there and push it in. Okay, just like that. I'll let that sit for a minute. All right, now we got uh, TR1148, and that's this uh, big grill piece here. Uh, we got this metal grill that goes inside of that. Go ahead and put that in there. Doesn't matter which way it goes, it looks the same. And then we have uh, TR1150. That's the one that has two studs on it here. And TR1149 only has one. So we're going to take it 
this way around right here with these this uh, round towards the bottom and at the top we're going to put the one with the one pin and it's going to slide right over these two things right here just like that and then at the bottom section we're going to put the one with the two pins it's going to slide over like that and then we're going to screw those in with four bb 2.3 by 6 screws that i have right here all right it's going to look like that when it's done that from the other side a little grill through there cool okay now we're going to take that fan and fan shroud that we just built that's going to go down inside here we've got four pegs on here and they're going to match up to these holes here that in and push it in nice and snug snap it in down there like that all right and then we got this part uh here with the louvers facing down towards the feet got three pins and they're going to go into these three holes here that in. like that all right now we've got this plastic piece here this is uh tr1155 and we have four pwb 2.3 by 6 screws right here and that's what we're going to attach this on with i'm going to go on the back side here it's going to screw onto these two holes here and here and onto the spine screw into it let me lift the feet up see if we can do this on camera i doubt it let's screw it to the spine piece first Yeah, there's the spine place there it's all fastened on all right guys that's it for the optimus prime part i'm going to go ahead and build the remote control and we'll be right back to uh go over everything all right guys we got all the pieces here for our remote control so let's go ahead and get these put together first we're going to take the uh, circuit board out okay and we have this uh section here the circuit board is going to go in this way around with the single button pointing towards the bottom here. It's going to sit right on top of these posts like that, and we're going to screw that in with three of the PB 2.3 by 6 screws, which I have right here. All right, we got those in. It's going to look just like that. And now we're going to take this plug, and we're going to plug it into the side there. And there. get it in and pushed in just like that. All right now we have the top piece here. It's all nice with the red and the and the shiny chrome. And we have the Autobots uh, insignia here, and that's going to sit right down in there just like that. And then we have the rest of the buttons here. And uh, you can see it only goes in one direction there. Set that in like that. Now we're going to put this on top of it. Yeah, and we're going to fasten that in with six of the PB 2.3 by 6 screws. all pretty tight all right that's how it looks right there guys got all of our controls on it looks like uh his eyes his mouth looks like volume up and down uh music this looks like maybe put it on repeat uh the lights not sure what this oh that's the feet it looks like turn the feet lights on what is this oh that's probably the matrix of leadership there to turn that on and uh, i wonder what it put when you push this if it just does everything or what i don't know but it takes two AAA batteries. I'm not going to put any batteries in it right now because there's no need to. Uh, but we'll uh, put the uh, battery cover on like that. And the controller is done. All right, guys. So that is the end of pack 11. So let's go ahead and get back to the main cam. Hey, guys. As you can see, I have Optimus Prime sitting on the shelf over here. He's getting too big now to put here to show on camera. Uh, here is the remote control that will control all the functions. It's very nice looking uh, remote there. Again, it takes two AAA batteries. But since I can't show him, go ahead and check out these images here, and I'll be right back.
right guys so that was optimus prime so far we've got one pack left to do where we'll be finishing his upper body putting the arms head on uh finishing up his weapons optimus prime will be complete take his spot right here on my shelf uh yeah he's really cool looking he's getting huge he's getting so big like i said it's, it's really hard to film it uh in my area now because it's just uh uh, he's just he's just getting too massive uh to to do but we'll get him all finished up i uh, have him displayed here and uh yeah man let me know if you guys are if you guys are building this uh how you're enjoying it and what your thoughts are on it in the in the uh comment section down below i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next time i'm chewy solo and this is black and red build <laughs> Now that is a whole lot of fun right there. <laughs>